right, how you doing? This is Armand from VAC Motorsports, documenting something interesting here. I had a communication problem with this car. Uh, basically what happened, it was like no power in the car. It was the junction box, as BMW calls it, but it's mainly the front fuse box. We replaced that, where it plugs in the back of it. There's a red hot cable that comes from the battery to that. That was melted. Uh, we thought that was the end of it, and that was all, all that had to be done. Um, so we replaced it power still wasn't working I mean we got the power up but we still had communication problems turns out there was a what they call a JB4 which is a tuner add-on or piggyback system that they install in these twin turbo cars the N54s, the 335s, 535s a lot of guys are putting it in there now I had no clue that would interfere with all the other modules in communication but apparently it does not only the engine but uh, most systems as well. Apparently there's only like four or five systems that it does not interfere with. I'll show you just a quick rundown of uh, which systems are okay. So, um, this is all possible communications in the systems. As you see, if you did a quick test, you'll come up not present, not present, only one or two. The FRM is one that does communicate, the JBE. You're able to communicate with that. Um, the seat module, the driver's seat module, which I think is because it's safety related, that you can communicate with. And the other module is the, oh, nothing there. You can see how many modules don't communicate because of that system. And then I will show you how to deactivate that system. So if you wanted to open up communications and deactivate that tuning package, we could do that. Obviously the MRS works, the CAS works. And the engine module, we're able to communicate with that. The fuel pump, tire pressure, obviously they're trying to pick safety issues and running issues to allow you to communicate. So those are the systems that are affected. As you can see, tons of systems that you can't communicate with at all. Um, all right, so how you, now what I've, well, what, this information is on YouTube, but uh, if you don't want to go through the trouble of seeing where this module is, if you just want to um, determine whether this car has this system in it, there is a real quick test. I'll show you how to do it. You're basically going to get on the um, get ignition on, and you're going to use the negative button here and the down arrow here. You press and hold them together. Now watch the display on there. It's going to change on the cluster. So I'm going to press those two. See that? If the car has it, you can see the, the gauge jumped up as well. If the car does not have this system and you held those two buttons, the screen wouldn't do that. Now, believe it or not, by changing, hitting the arrow down, you could change the different tunes. This is part of the JB4 system. But I'm just bringing it to your attention. If you want to turn the system off to open up communication, you go down to zero. How do you get out of it? You just hit this negative button and you can see you're back to standard setup. Now, this just opened up all communications by deactivating it. Zero is off. This guy had it set to two. So I'm going to go back and we're going to try, for instance, uh, picking um, a module that was not communicating. Let's say the instrument cluster. Now we can communicate. Uh, we're going to try and go into... Um, if we do a quick test, you'll see a rundown of all the modules. While we're doing this, I'm going to take you just so you can visually see where this JB4 module is. And then uh, we're going to... So, this sits under here. If you look at it, it looks like a little computer plug-in type of thing. They usually have a USB cable coming out of it. Some guys... This guy has it running out of here. Here's the USB port for their laptop when these guys want to play with it and change the tune. Um, and this is what it looks like. It has these type of plugs. Okay, like looks like serial cables for computer connections. All right, so we'll go back. We'll see what the results are now, now that the system is off. But this is a very important thing for any guy working on a BMW if they're trying to figure out why they're having communication problems. So... The quick answer is just press those two buttons to see if you have communication or not. Okay, so as we can see now, I'll give you the results. All possible control units. And now we're going to get 
probably more results. Okay, well, some modules are not present in this car to begin with, but you're going to see we're getting rain sensors back on, seat module. Now, passenger seat module is not there, I see. The gateway we opened up. Oh, there is a problem, by the way, with this car. We have the optical system down, so a lot of the audio is down. Okay. Dynamic stability is on board. It wasn't before. Um, and that's it. Okay. So to get it back active again, once again, just press and hold these two buttons. The screen changes, hit the button up, I'll get it back to two, and I'll hit the minus on the left side and back out of the system. So that system is active again. Um, I'm going to go into drive, DME, can't communicate because it's back on. I'm going to turn it off, one, two, three, escape, now you get in. So. See how unpleasant this could be if you really didn't know the system was there and how easy it is to deactivate it. Very easy without opening things up to determine this. Have a nice day. Good luck. That's it.